What's up, everybody? It's your girl, who is, in fact, that Aspie, who is also sweating her tits off because it is goddamn hot over here. Whew. I thought it was going to be spring for, like, a little bit longer. I wasn't expecting, like, 90-degree weather with gross amount of humidity. Like, what the fuck is happening? The earth is dying! So, after having life updates happening and work and, you know, just like today, working and all that fun stuff, um... It's still Pride Month, and I was thinking about using this video to talk a little bit about sexuality, um, gender identity, things like that. And I did mention in a previous video that I might go into my own personal labels, I guess, if you want to call it that. Personally, I think labels are a little bit subjective, but I'll talk a little bit about where mine sit and I guess my thought process behind that. So that if any of you guys are feeling the same way, yeah, I mean, you're not the, you're not the only one, so, eh, who knows. Um, if talking about this kind of stuff is bothersome to you in any way, shape, or form, consider this your warning to, um, step away or do whatever you need to do. Um, I can respect that. I know this topic may be uncomfortable for some people, especially if you're still in the closet, or maybe you're unsure of where you stand. I get it. It's totally fine, and I will not be offended if you choose to deviate away from this. Everyone's got their opinions, everyone's got their things and their triggers, I guess, so I'm more than happy to respect that stuff. And as far as Pride Parade, that is going to be next weekend by the time I'm recording this, um, and I, will, I plan on going to Pride Parade and recording stuff from there and all that stuff, so I'm going to show you what Pride looks like in New York City especially under corporate capitalism. So yeah, um, let's, let's do it. <laughs> One thing I'm going to talk about is that uh, things like your sex, your gender identity, your gender expression, and all that stuff is in fact a spectrum. Watch, um, there's an episode of Bill Nye Saves the World, I believe it's episode 10, that touches about that sort of stuff. And they do talk about how it is, in fact, a spectrum and all that fun stuff, so I, I highly recommend watching it. It's Bill Nye, first of all. I mean, how can you not trust Bill Nye, the science guy? And secondly, um, it's coming from a science perspective, so it's taking out the personal things. So, yeah, I would say give that a look. There's also, like, the magic of Google and everything, so you can always look that up, but be careful about what you search on the internet because not all sources are going to be reliable, believe it or not. And yeah, if you want to educate yourself about this, um, do all that stuff I just said. So, yay. So on the subject of it being a spectrum, um, where my own biological sex, I was born biologically female. So, yes, I am woman. Hear me meow. And I say that even sex is a spectrum because some people are born with both sexual organs, um, maybe one of them's functional, maybe the other one is functional, maybe both are functional, I don't know if that's a possibility, but that would be kind of cool, and very confusing to your hormones, <laughs> so, ye. Or maybe none of their sexual organs actually function the way they should, or, I don't know, there's a whole thing about that, um, you can probably look that up. The main thing to know is that some people are born intersex, which technically counts as a third sex, I think? Um, I could be wrong. I am by no means a scientist, so feel free to take whatever I say with a grain of salt, but I'm um, just saying. As far as gender identity goes, I am technically cisgender, which if you don't know what that means, first of all, not a slur, second of all, it is an accurate term. All it means is that your gender identity matches the biological sex that you were born with. So, for example, I was born female, and my gender identity aligns with being female. Even though I don't always look like it or act like it, yes, I do see myself as a woman, and I would see that no other way, personally. That being said, I do have friends who are transgender whose gender identity does not match the biological sex they were born with. I also have non-binary friends whose gender identity also does not match their biological sex, or not always, or not entirely. Um, again, I'm no scientist. There's also gender-fluid people that I also know who 
I guess, have their genders a little all over the place. It's somewhere in between. Um, personally, I do identify as female. I just don't show it so much. Which actually goes into my gender expression. Now, I think that's where I'm a little bit fluid, but I'm not 100% sure on that. For example, these pants. These pants I am wearing. They are technically men's pants. I picked them up at H&M from the men's section because they have pockets. And I like having clothing with functional pockets instead of whatever the fuck fake pockets they do in women's clothing. Also, they're pretty comfy. Not gonna lie. So, for those reasons, not necessarily because they're men's jeans, I just pick them because they're more comfortable. So, yes, I am wearing men's clothes, but that doesn't mean I'm a man. The tank top I'm wearing, on the other hand, is a woman's tank top. A very tiny woman's tank top, might I add. I am a very small lady. And you also might be noticing that I'm not wearing a bra. Because they're uncomfortable. And it's too hot. And my breasts are small enough that I can get away with not wearing a bra most of the time because they're so small. And I tend to wear baggier clothing that hides them anyway. If I happen to wear something a little more tight-fitting, eh, sometimes I'll wear a tank top with a fitted bra inside of it. But most of the time I find regular bras uncomfortable, and I would rather not go through that extra effort to wear them, especially dealing with the straps and all that, so, yeah. And me wearing makeup is also part of me not exactly being the most feminine person you're ever going to meet, because that's a lot of effort to go through and I really don't feel like it. And I also feel like I can pull off the natural look that actually is no makeup. Even though for film it kind of does make a difference whether or not you wear it as you may or may not be able to tell, so ye. Yeah. I guess like if anywhere in my general identity is fluid it would be gender expression, but I do still use female pronouns, I'm also fine with gender neutral pronouns. Just don't use male pronouns with me, because that's not me. And that's the best understanding of it I have, so... I could be wrong. I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it, so... Yeah. And then the part that most people know is a bit of a spectrum is sexual orientation. Now, as you can see here, I do identify as pansexual. And I know that there's some debate on the difference between pansexual and bisexual, and I personally don't see that of a difference. I just happen to think that what I understand about pansexual fits more of what I personally feel that I'm attracted to. And in case you don't know, pansexual is I am attracted to people regardless of their sex, their gender identity, and like stuff like that. Basically like the whole hearts not parts thing that came out a while ago that used to describe bisexuals and I think still kind of does. Um, that applies to pansexual. So I care more about the person rather than what's in their pants and what they label themselves as, I guess. I don't know, sometimes labels are dumb and are subjective, but they can help us understand some stuff, I guess, so it can be useful, maybe, I don't know. And from my understanding, bisexual um, people think two sexes but I don't, that still doesn't mean that someone who's bisexual wouldn't be attracted to somebody who's transgender and all that. I don't know, I don't think that makes much of a difference. And personally, like I said, I think bisexual and pansexuality are too similar to call like a distinctive difference unless there's something I'm missing. But I, it doesn't matter to me. I don't really care. Just pick whatever one you identify with more or whichever label, like, fits you better, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I personally identified as bisexual up until I was an adult and learned what pansexual was, um, and thought that described me better. So, I don't know, labels change sometimes, I don't, I don't know. But maybe they also change because you're finding different parts of yourself that you didn't know about before, or discovering this sort of stuff, and it just happened to fit a different thing than you thought you had. I've had changes like that before happen in my life with other stuff, so I don't, I guess this might be 
a little similar, but I don't know. They're also could they could be separate issues on their own, so I don't know. And there's also the funny thing where like because you're bisexual or pansexual thinks that you can't be in a heterosexual relationship, pff, please. That's a bunch of shit. Even if you are attracted to more than one gender or more than one sex or whatever, you can be in whatever kind of relationship you want. As long as it's between two consensual adults. Or maybe if you're polyamorous, you have more than one consenting partner. You know, it's it's 2018. Gotta live your life how you do. As long as you're not hurting anybody or yourself, I don't give a shit. And honestly, that's the way it should be, is that you just live your life. And, yeah. <laughs> if you're not into gay sex or gay people getting married, then don't get married to somebody who's gay. <laughs> or don't date someone who's gay. <laughs> If you're not romantically or sexually interested in transgender people, then don't date them. That doesn't mean that they're less human. Speaking of, um, remember how Pride started? Yeah, the Stonewall riots? Started by a black transgender woman who was also bisexual? Yeah, that was a thing. But, yeah, I don't know exactly what else to say about this. I'm kind of losing track of my thoughts and also it's so hot I can't really concentrate. And I feel like there's other stuff I want to talk about too, but I honestly am- I don't know. I actually almost didn't have anything to talk about with this video anyway because I just didn't know what to do and was wondering if I should save this conversation for now or wait until Pride Weekend, but I figured fuck it, do it now because next weekend is Pride Weekend and then the weekend after that I start Renaissance Fair rehearsals and I'm definitely gonna want to talk about that when that comes up, so yee. The only other major, I guess, life change or whatever, schedule change, is that this is the last week of after school for my job, and after that we're going to be doing day camps with the kids, so, um, yeah, like, after this week my schedule is going to be a little bit different than what it is currently and has been for the past few months, but I still plan to stay with the once a week uploading. I will probably stick with Thursdays. Um, if that changes at all for some reason, I will let you guys know. Even though none of you are subscribed to me yet, at the time of recording this, you're watching and not subscribed yet, but eh, I mean this, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. I actually noticed in the analytics that somebody watched from Canada, and I'm like, dude, where? I have a friend in Alberta. Is it that friend? Or is it somewhere else in Canada? I also noticed a brief watch from Germany, and I was like, what? Oh man, that's cool. But yeah, um, this journey has been pretty interesting so far, and I'm curious to see where else this goes, especially as I get a better grip of how everything with this works. Um, I'm still figuring it out. I have no idea exactly what I'm doing, but that's probably the case with people who've even been doing YouTube for like five to ten years or whatever. Maybe they still don't have any fucking clue what they're doing and are just going with emotions or going with what they know, and it just so happens to be the thing that works, so... <laughs> and as far as that, um, drawing series I started doing on my social media, honestly, I'm not expecting anything to come out of it. It was just an idea I had, and I didn't want to keep it locked up in the creative subconscious of my brain, so I wanted to release it into the universe and just let it happen. <laughs> It was something I kind of wanted to share with you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm actually liking drawing this, and I'm curious of what you guys think too, so like I said in my original post, feel free to comment if you have your own ideas about it and stuff like that. And yeah, I think that's about all I got. I'm gonna take a shower, because I need it. I almost took a shower this morning, but I figured I was going to sweat a lot anyway, and I would need a shower again after that, so I figured might as well do it. Um, once the day is done, and yeah, it wasn't too bad as far as sweat, not enough to be like, ew, disgusting, but I just feel gross right now because of, anyway, I'm gonna do that, but otherwise, thank you everybody for tuning in, if you liked it, my name is Laura, and I am Dad Aspie, if you didn't like it, I'm Markiplier, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.